American Addiction Centers. This is Nick on a recorded line. How can I help? Hi, this is Katie with American Addiction Centers on a recorded line. How are you today? How long have you been struggling? Have you been to treatment before? What else can we do for you today, Jordan? So admissions navigators are people, right? Just like you and I. Um, they're fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters. Um, and there are people really here to listen to people calling us and asking us for help. That sounds good, man. We'll talk to you soon, okay? We are the front line. Um, we are the first person that you talk to when you call in. Um, and, you know, essentially it's my job to um, help with your anxiety and your fear about going into the unknown. We get it. A lot of us that do this do it because we've experienced it, either with ourselves or our family. So we, we understand going into a conversation that people are going to be scared or nervous. Um, I always tell people that it'd be weird if they weren't scared or nervous because this is a, a very serious situation and a very serious choice that they're making. So I just try to let them know from the beginning that I totally understand and that I'm here to go with them. I just I make it a big point to let them know that we're doing this with you. It's not just you by yourself, that's why we're here. You have an entire team helping you. There is a hundred of us plus that are here to help you, whether it's someone who can be a second voice and say, I get what you're going through, I've been there, you know, I've been to one of our facilities, or I struggled with this, you know, I understand, and to hear them. But then there's also people who can help you book flights, who can help you with a payment plan. Um, you know, if you're a veteran, we have a whole veterans team that are there just to help veterans. And I believe that because we have this whole team, it makes the process a lot easier. Anybody can ask questions. Anybody can answer questions. But when we take the time to really be human, you know, we want to get to know you on a personal level. And that's what allows us to find treatment programs that are specific for you. Um, not all treatment programs are the best for everyone. And so it lets us, um, with our knowledge, be able to figure out where that's going to be and how to fit for your specific circumstances. A lot of our navigators are actually in recovery themselves. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be to be successful at that position. Um, they're either in recovery themselves or they have loved ones who are in recovery that they've actually helped. I'm great at what I do because I have walked a mile in their shoes. I have cried the same tears. I watched my parents and my wife cry the same tears. And when you can understand and be empathetic to what someone is really going through and know how hard it is and how scary it is, you find comfort and they find comfort in your words and you establish trust, you know, because I've been there. I know what you're going through. I did it. If I did it, you can do it. So follow me and we'll do it together. It's about paying it forward. And I know a lot of people in this call center, um, like I said, either struggle with addiction themselves, they uh, have loved ones who struggle with addiction. So we all get it and we all care. And we're here to help validate family members and our patients, let them know you're not crazy. You know, you're just, you just need help and we're gonna be kind and compassionate through that process. And then we also have ways that have not necessarily experienced an addiction either personally or as themselves, but also that they're just compassionate, loving people that wanna give somebody else another chance. I love what I do here. Um, I think it's a rare situation to have so much opportunity from uh, a, a corporate side of things where you actually are serving a better purpose uh, in, in the community. I am an admission navigator because I believe in second chances. Somebody helped me and my family, so it's, you know, it's a daily reminder. Because I uh, struggle with uh, alcohol uh, in the past, somebody actually helped me out. Because I was once on the other end of that phone, and someone helped me when I couldn't help myself. My brother was an addict back in the day, and I wasn't there to help him, so this is my way of giving back because end of the day, I wanna help people. You know, I have this gift to offer you and if you can take it, your life can be better and I just think that's incredible.